hit the like button and subscribe the channel. What are you doing here? Helping you return your piece of crap thing from Ikea, because I agree. I hate Ikea too. By the way, Christmas came early for you, bro. We ordered right. some for the softball team, so I went and got you one. Check out the peep the number, though. Peep the number. You like that number? I like that. That's dope. Thank you, sir. All right, Perez, where we headed? We're headed to Ikea to return this piece of crap table, because Ikea, I don't know how y'all get away with this kind of stuff. First off, it takes about five hours to put together anything, and then to put, the, put it together and find out it don't work, bro. It's so wrong. It's not right what they're doing to me. But let's go return it. Look where we're at, Ikea. I'm about to raise hell in there. Bobby, what are you doing? I am returning this damn table. Working all night, all day and all night trying to put this damn thing together just so that the electrical part doesn't work. <laughs> I'm suing these guys. All right, guys, this video, this vlog, we're going to talk about what I use to make all my content, to make my YouTube channel. And honestly, um, I've done a lot of research over the years, just making sure I had I've had really good equipment. And everything I'm going to show you guys is proven. Like for me, for the money, is the best setup that I could find. And I'm constantly looking for improvements, things that I can change. And I'm going to tell you why I love this product and why it made my setup. So, what should we what should we start with? The what? first thing you need to create content is you need a camera. Okay, so the camera that I have. I recently got and I love it. This is the Canon. He has one too. Canon M50 with the Rode Vid Micro, Video Micro. What you want to get is a Joby Gorillapod, they call it. And the one you want to get is the 3K. I've gotten the lower end ones and and they get loose. They uh they don't last as long. They won't wrap around stuff. When you try to set it up on a table, it just will flop over. So get the 3K, which is like 70, 80 bucks. Definitely worth the money. And I'll show you guys b-roll of everything that that i'm talking about now with the canon m50 it comes with the 15 to 45 millimeter lens which is what i'm using right now this is their kit lens and it works great in my opinion um but for a portrait lens or for my tutorials i get the 22 mil now this camera has a 1.6 crop factor which means the lens that you put on it isn't necessarily what it says it is so if you put a 22 on this it ends up being like a 41 or 42 millimeter lens which is great, which is perfect for portrait. It has a lot of, um, does the whole blurry background thing. Definitely a great lens. So I would buy this camera with that lens. That lens is like 200 bucks for, for your camera setup. Anything else? Oh, your SD card. Yes. So you need an SD card that's fast. What happens is if you get like a cheap, slow one, your camera after like 10 minutes will just cut off on you. And that's because the you're overworking the card. Um, so you want to get something that's like 90 meg megabytes per a second i think it's megabytes a second 90 it'll say 90 mb slash s and so with that that and higher that's that's what you want to use and i usually get like a 128 gig i think it is um because video footage especially good quality video footage it takes up a lot of space and you don't want to have to keep um changing sd cards in the middle of a tutorial or a video lighting's very important um you can get a halo light you you got a halo light right i do have a halo light yes I have so a 14 inch, I forgot the brand of it, I just found it on Amazon. Is it newer? N-E-E-W-E-R? Yes. On Amazon. Yes. I think they're like 115 bucks or something like that. They actually went down. Oh, yeah. 89 bucks. Oh, 89 bucks. I need to get 14 one. 14 inch. I need to get another one. I have make one. Sure, make sure you get the one that's adjustable, because there's some that just turn on and it's just one setting. Yeah. You want to be able to dim it. Yeah, so I got the adjustable one. I need to get another one, though. I got that. I got the squared LED light, and then I have like the fluorescent bulb lights, which are pretty good, too. So lighting is important. The best lighting you can get is near a window. Like if you have a, a space with a lot of windows or even outdoors, that's the best lighting you, you're gonna find. So that's important to get really nice quality footage because if you don't have good lighting, then you're gonna need a better camera that handles bad lighting. So you're gonna need something with a low aperture. And what I mean by that is, for example, this is a 15 to 45, 3.5 to 6.3. That 3.5 to 6.3, is how much light it lets into the camera the lower that number the more 
the blurrier the, the, de the depth of field will be, like the background will be, and the better it'll do in low light situations. Make sure, because you mentioned the audio, the foundation of a video, of any video, lighting and audio. If the audio is trash, no good. Yeah, it ruins the video. So, and I've, I've definitely had had my battles with, with um, audio, definitely. And speaking of audio, um, other, th other than the microphone that goes on your camera, you're gonna need a microphone to do voiceovers. To start off with, the, uh, the, the, blue the Blue Snowball was what I use, very cheap, 50 bucks, and it gives you really good quality. But then I upgraded to what I have now, which is the Snow, the Blue Yeti, the Blue Yeti, which is crazy, amazing. That runs like 130 bucks. Um, what else? <coughs> All right, so that's that's it as far as my like my recording and actually creating the content. I also have a drone that Toon 45 bought for for expos and for Toon Squad recording stuff. Mm -hmm. Tripod. Oh, tripod's very important. I forgot about the tripod. Tripod's very important. The one I got is a uh, I don't know the damn name. This is the one I got, and I like it because it folds really compact, and I can just put it inside my book bag. And then when I take it out my book bag, it unfolds really quickly. It doesn't take up a lot of space and gets really tall. And the um, where it connects to the camera, it you can like put it at any angle and it does it really smoothly and really easily. I also have a G7X, which is a really good point and shoot camera that I was using for like my chest for my harness recordings. So it looks like it's first person. But now I'm gonna use my M50 because it's almost the same size as the G7X. I bought a bunch of gimbals and stuff, but I'll be honest with you, I, I bought one that was like $450, and it was a gimbal for DSLRs. I just, to me, it's unnecessary. To me, to me, it weighs. It's just a like, unless you're doing some really high-end shooting, some wedding, something like that. To me, like the type of recording I'm doing, it's got to be readily available. The camera. If the camera isn't readily available, like, it's hard for me to capture the content that I'm trying to capture. And a gimbal, you have to set up, you have to make sure it's balanced, and it's just, it's a lot of work to get that smooth shot. When you can still do it with the with the Joby tripod, keep it close, really slow, put it on um, 120 frames per second, and you'll get some really nice B-roll shots. So, that's why I don't, I don't use the gimbal that much. But now that we've talked equipment, equipment we need to record the content, let's talk about the equipment we need to edit it and upload it so right now i have the 2018 macbook with the touchpad um love love the laptop it's super fast rendering and processing and exporting super super fast super like to me it has saved me a lot of time and it was worth the money but i didn't get the, that laptop until i felt i was ready to you know what i'm saying like i started off with something with a, a, a cheap laptop or use one off a off of like Craigslist or whatever. With that laptop, the reason why I use a MacBook is because to me, Final Cut Pro 10 is the best. It's the easiest. Literally, like, if you feel the this button should do this, it probably does. Think of iPhone versus Android. Android could probably do more with, but iPhone it just works so effortlessly, and that's important when editing. Like, I don't, I don't want, I don't want a huge learning curve, and I don't want. I want something that I can just plug in my content and start cutting, editing, exporting. For my headphones, um, when I'm listening to, to stuff, I use either my AirPods or I have these um, expensive wired headphones. But honestly, I like the AirPods better because it's so easy to connect. Another thing you might need um, as far as software is something to edit thumbnails. You don't need it. Like a lot of people use PicMonkey, but there's also I use a lot of my a lot of apps on my phone. <laughs> I like Aviary and Fonto, P-H-O-N-T-O. Fonto has been amazing to me. And now, I used to just work off of my laptop, but now what I tried to do is I bought furniture, a desk. I bought um, two monitors for, for my space and a hub. So I want to be able to just come into my office, plug in my laptop, and go straight to work. Something that's set, like, it's important to have an environment that will maximize your efficiency, I feel like. A lot of times when I'm in my living room editing or in my room editing, I get off track, I start watching videos and stuff. I get more work done at Starbucks in an hour than I will at home in three hours. So I kinda wanna create that setting in my office within my home so I can just walk to my office and get to work. But other than that, you, you're, gonna need back, you're gonna need a bunch of batteries, you're gonna need a bunch of backup SD cards, and get a case for them. And here's why, I'm gonna tell you a story. So 
I went to San Francisco and Jeezy came to one of my classes and hung out with us and I ended up cutting his hair and recording a tutorial. And unfortunately, the card was put behind a phone in the case because we were scared to lose it. And the magnet in the phone, I guess, destroyed the card. So I lost all that footage of me cutting Jeezy's hair. So put it, so buy a nice case so you can keep all your cards in there, organize it. And I'm telling you, definitely worth it. Don't don't go through the mistakes I went through when it comes to SD cards. And last but not least, man, this is the sleeper, sleeper product of them all that I have, is this new mouse that I bought. The Master MX2S. Yo, I'm telling you this is a game changer for me because if you're if you're already editing on you on Final Cut Pro, then you know I the insert button O, um, the outsert button I think. Um, those are like some of the buttons you use the most. So you usually would type I, then O, then delete to delete that section of the clip. Now with my mouse, I have a button that goes in, out, delete, in, out, delete, in, out, delete. So literally with one hand, I can edit a whole video. It's a game changer. Got to get this mouse. I think it's like, it's on sale right now at Office Depot for like 80 bucks. But if you're serious about your editing and you want to be fast, this is a great tool to buy. And just some bonus stuff, you can get yourself an external hard drive. Make sure you get a solid state drive. You want something fast. Solid state drives are important. Even if with a MacBook, you can upgrade. If you get an older MacBook, you can upgrade the hard drive. So, you know, that's just an option, but it's such a big deal. It makes your computer so much faster and it's a cheaper way to do it. Like I, I would get like a 256 at the bare minimum for like 60, 70 bucks, put it in there and your laptop would be so much faster. Um, also, the, with the external drives, you want to have it a solid state drive, but you're going to be waiting forever transferring files and stuff. I don't really, I have an external drive. I have a few. I just don't use them that much. I just keep them on my SD card and then throw them on my laptop because my new laptop has like a terabyte of, uh, of storage. So I don't really run into an issue that a lot of YouTubers run into where you ran out of space on your laptop and you can't edit anymore. So I hope that list helped you guys out. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. You got anything to say, um, Christian Perez? No, drop content. <laughs> that's about it. Yeah. Drop content. You gotta drop be consistent. Content. You gotta keep dropping content. Yes, sir. So that's it. That's my setup. That's what I'm working with. And uh, hopefully, I've I've given you guys some some tools, some ideas, so you can get your YouTube your YouTube started. Or even if you're just gonna create content for Instagram, whatever it is, create. When you live in Florida, you gotta deal with snakes with a red ring around their neck. This one I gotta kill because I think it's poisonous. It was just a southern ring neck snake and I did find it. It's in there, it's in that umbrella. But instead of killing it in this umbrella, let's can see it. You guys see it? We're gonna, we're gonna leave it out here. We're gonna let the snake do what it do. Let it let it leave. All I wanted to do was, was edit, man. And I, and I gotta fight snakes and stuff. That's Florida. All right, guys, this is try number two. Ready, ready, ready? Check this out. Just getting home from the shop, worked all day in the shop. Now it's time to pack for Columbia. All right guys, so I'm packing now to go to Columbia. And uh, these shirts actually came in the mail and uh, along with these. So this is Ghost Fit. This is it. Came in three different colors. Those are nice colors. All right, here we go. Let me try one on. So this shirt, this shirt is Panthera Leo. Bay, hold the camera, show the back. Show the back. Okay. And then they gave me another one. Let me show you guys this other one. That's pretty dope. It has like an antique ish vibe. Panthera Leo. I'm gonna wear these out in Columbia. Now, what happened, baby? I want to show them my ring. She wants to show her, her money ring. That's a money ring. Yeah, I got Tell my Chuck E. Cheese. Show them, they can't see it. You haven't shown them. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, there it is. Nice. All right. Love you. What are you showing them? Your picture. Your art. Woo! 
So your artwork is gorgeous. Love and it. And then the heart. And I want to say something. These are her hearts. You better get familiar. Those are hearts. Huh. Huh. My baby is nice. Let's see some high end shit with this. Yay, pretty eyes. Oh, you just look like Georgie from the movie. Daddy, it looks like you're, you're Georgie from the movie because Georgie has a, a yellow. Um, look at Daddy. He's a. I have a brush so I can brush my hair, which is very cool. I love to brush my hair all day because my hair is curly, like my mom's. I love my hair. It looks pretty every time I brush it, but that really hurts. So here's my ring. Are they saying anything, Daddy? What? Is are they saying anything, Daddy? Valentina, it's not live. That's just recording. It's not a live stream. Hi, Close this pack. Sharky's out and about. Packing product. This is where my clippers will go. All my tools will go. That's this is where all my tech stuff will go, like like cameras and stuff. The beam team compressors in there. Had to buy these things. Had to buy the travel goodies. And had to buy had to buy the, my protein cookies. So that's it for everything. I don't think I'm missing anything. But that's it, guys. Off to Colombia. It's going down.